Do you know what's in that soda you drinking? Do you even care? Do you know what it's doing to you? Do you feel it? Do you? Do you even care? Do you even care that it's killing you? You better wake, wake up. up. Did you know? The aspartame is an artificial sweetener found in many low calorie products such as Coke, Pepsi, a lot of yogurts, a lot of gums, a lot of Wrigley gums, Orbit gums, a lot of nonsense that we eat and drink on a daily basis. Now if you don't know what this is, it's supposed to be like sugar but it's actually not. It's the problem with this is it causes a lot of negative side effects that's related to our health, such as tinnitus. If you don't know what tinnitus is, it's that ringing in your ears when everything gets all quiet and you're trying to go to sleep and all you hear in your head is and it sounds like you're going to go crazy and you don't know where it's coming from. It's from that aspartame. That's one of the things that it does for you. Some people say, yes, yeah, from loud music excessively. Yes, yeah, kind of, but it's what you're drinking. It's what you're eating. It's in all your products. It's bothering you. It also causes epileptic seizures, headaches, migraines, dizziness, severe depression, anxiety, brain damage, possible cancer. It does a lot of things that is very negative. So the thing that we have to ask and wonder is why is it in our foods? Why is it in our gums? Why is it in our drinks? What is it doing there? Why do we really need this? And why don't most of us care? Hmm. Why don't you care? Let me tell you a personal thing. I've known about this for a long time and I've tried to avoid it. I stopped drinking sodas years ago. For the most part, I drink sodas very rarely. I don't get that tinnitus. I used to get that tinnitus every night in my ears when I was going to sleep. It used to drive me crazy. I didn't like it. I didn't know that it was causing, and I used to, like I said, I used to drink a lot of soda. I didn't know it was caused from the aspartame. I didn't know what aspartame was back then. Another thing recently, Nikki was buying the, the, the bottles of fiber from Costco. Whenever I would drink it, I would automatically get dizzy. My head would feel funny. I'd feel crazy. I look on the back of the thing. I'm thinking it's just fiber. It has other ingredients in it that I didn't realize. Aspartame was one of the things that added the sweetener. Stop drinking it. I stopped feeling that way. These are things you have to pay attention to, people. Don't take my advice. Please don't take my advice. Look this up for yourself. Go in your kitchen. Look under the ingredients of everything that you have and see what's in there. Look this stuff up and see what it's about for yourself. Make your own conclusions. This stuff is not good. A lot of these things is probably affecting you and you're so used to it that you, you don't even realize that it's, it's doing this to you. Let's wake up, people. Let's question the government. Let's find out why this stuff is in it. A lot of these things that's in our foods, including aspartame, is banned and illegal in other countries. Why is it only our country that's just like, yeah, take this. Do they want to kill us? Do they care about us? Better yet, once again, do you care about you? That's the question I'm asking. That's the question you got to ask. Till next time, stay focused, stay fit. Please hit that like button, people, and do your research. Fitness Radar. My father was an alcoholic. I don't know what demons he was fighting, but I do know I have my own addiction. I'm addicted to iron. I find myself sometimes wondering if I can ever get back to my teenage weight. That's virtually impossible, and I think that would be crazy in my 30s, I don't think I will look good at my teenage weight. Embrace the weight. I say you look really silly, That's okay? So just don't go there because I will go, go crazy on go. you right now. Here we go. You need to do the six month checkup. Every six months, I check up on my husband. I check his phone, what? his voicemail. Yeah. That's a whole other subject. If you don't in. have that trust between each other, 